They're about 400 drones above me. So it's about 300 kilograms of drones just above my head flying around. I have a background in technology and magic. I used to be a director's fellow at the Media Lab, at the MIT Media Lab. For the last five years, I've worked at NASA as a creative technologist, working on various topics which are related to robotics. And um, I've been a consultant with Tronisos X Labs and um, head of innovation there. Tronisos does uh, drone swarms for entertainment. So in this particular project, um, we're exploring the possibilities of doing interactivity. This was in Bordeaux in the south of France, so we have an airfield there where we can uh, fly as much as we like. Typically, if you see a drone shown like this, it might be like 300 or 500 yards away from the closest spectators. In this case, they're about five feet away from me, right? So, so this kind of proximity in a safe way and then with that additional element of, uh, of interaction is actually quite novel. They communicate amongst each other using like various um, kind of communication standards which are not so common for, 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 for drones. So we're using ultra wideband and different all sorts of different ways to 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 manage the what's called like the state synchronization. They all need to know where they are uh, in relationship to each other and we need to know where they are. So there's a lot of um, a lot of talking between the machines and the humans. 